Welcome to Sacrilegious Discourse. I'm husband. And I'm wife. Together we're reading the Bible for the very first time. We grew up without religion and wanted to know what all the fuss was about. Well, what have we learned so far? That God is a dick, and apparently some people believe in talking donkeys? We're not trying to pass ourselves off as experts. Nope, we're just reading the Bible for the first time and giving our first take reaction. If you'd like to join us in this venture, you might consider starting at episode one. Otherwise, jump in wherever you like. All right, let's go read the Bible. Yeah, let's get to it. Husband! Wife! Do you know where the hell we are and what we're doing today? Well, we just finished Isaiah chapter 41. Sure as fuck did. And in that chapter, it was really fucking confusing because there were so many goddamn pronouns, it was ridiculous. Yeah, I have no idea what happened there, And then we smashed some idols. We did, yes. So there was that. And I'm assuming we'll clarify some of that when we get to our Q&A on Saturday. Yeah, but I'm not talking about that chapter right, right now. Right, right, right. So that was, that was the confusing-ass chapter of 41. I'm of excited Isaiah. for this next chapter, though. Right, which is? Isaiah chapter 42. Awesome. You ready to do this? Uh, yeah. All right, let's do it. Okie dokie. <laughs> Okay, so we are hopping into Isaiah chapter 42. Okay. However, comma. Okay. Pause for effect. I'm pausing for effect. Okay, so you know how when we did the Psalms and sometimes I um, read you a thing about it before we read the Psalm? I do. I remember that. Okay, do you know how sometimes I like surprise you with, oh, we're doing a thing that's different from what you thought we were doing? Mm, yeah in mid recording okay that's happening right now what, what's happening so okay this chapter that we're about to start chapter 42 it contains a poem oh okay and the poem is known as the first of the servant songs which are about the servant i see okay? the servant just the, servant. the servant okay we'll get to that in a minute okay they are also called the servant poems. Okay. Or the songs of the suffering servant. I see. Okay. Okay. And not the suffering succotash. No. 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 Okay. No. Um there there are there are four in a row. Okay. Yeah. So 42, 43, 44, and 45. Uh-huh. Okay. And they are written about a certain servant of Yahweh who calls the servant. To lead the nations, but the servant is horribly abused by them, the nations. Okay. And in the end, of course, he is rewarded. Ah. Okay. 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 Wouldn't be a good Bible story if if the hero wasn't rewarded somehow. Right. I guess. So what I'm doing right now, I don't know if you're aware, is telling you a little bit about these poems before we we start them okay okay that's what that's what i'm doing right now sure which chapters did you say they encompassed 42 43 44 and 45 got it so we've got poems for days poems for days it's poems all the way down all right okay yeah so some scholars think that there's a fifth one but not a lot of them do um some scholars regard isaiah chapter 61 so like way the fuck over there. Yeah. You know, because we're in the 40s. Right. They regard 61 um, verses 1 through 3 as a fifth servant song. Okay. Although the word servant is not actually mentioned in that passage. Okay. And this fifth song, quote unquote song. Yeah. Is largely disregarded by modern scholars. Because okay. without it, of course, all four fall within, you know, where we're at, which is the Deutero isaiah okay you know the second isaiah yeah you know i got it that's referred to as the deutero got it. isaiah okay? i didn't remember that but okay it's the middle part of the book the, okay the deutero part is the middle middle part of the book that we're in right in now this, but it, which is in the second book mm-hmm. but it's the middle okay it's the middle part of the whole isaiah <clears throat> okay sure yeah yeah okay okay so that's where we're at okay and So some believe that the Deutero-Isaiah bits are the work of an anonymous 
century BC author writing during the Babylonian exile. Oh, so this is like just stuck back in after the fact. A lot of it is. Got yeah. it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. So who's the servant, right? Uh, yeah. Like, who is the what, servant? What's this? Why? Yeah. Who? Sure. Okay. Uh-huh. So Jewish tradition holds that Isaiah identifies the servant as either the Israelites themselves or Cyrus. Cyrus. Who's Cyrus? Yeah, who's Cyrus? Okay, we'll talk about him in a minute. Because, okay. yeah, I was like, wait, that sounds familiar, but I don't know who the fuck he is. Right. Because I don't brain very well. <laughs> okay. So, um, this is in contrast to um, Christian tradition. Because they're like, nah. Okay. 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 We, don't think, we, don't, we don't think that's what Isaiah's saying at all. Oh. Okay. Okay. They think Isaiah's saying something else. Got it. Okay. Yeah. So... The self-glorification hymn from the Dead Sea Scrolls. Okay. So we're talking about the Dead Sea Scrolls. Right. And there's a piece of that called the self-glorification hymn. Okay. Okay. That from the first person narrative um, is a messianic human who has been exalted into heaven with a status above the angels. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. So... The Dead Sea Scrolls are, like, suggesting that that's who this servant is. I see. Okay. Okay. A- according to some Jewish scholars. Sure. Okay. They're sure. like, that. Okay. okay? Yeah. Um, rabbinic Judaism sees this passage, especially, quote, God's suffering servant, mm-hmm. as a reference to the Jewish nation. So okay. So, that's, you know, one of the things we already said, Israel itself. Sure. Right? Yep. Okay. So the modern Jewish interpretation of Isaiah describes the servant of the Lord as the nation of Israel itself when we get into chapters 52 and 53. So they're like that. Okay. Not that. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they're pointing all over the place, right? Yeah. They're like Dead Sea Scrolls. And then they're like, no, Isaiah 52 and 3. Okay. Okay. So... Then they're like, um, it's Israel itself. And then they're like, it's the nation of Israel. And then they're like, it's all of Judaism. So, like, it's all kind of overlappy. Got it. Okay, but Christians made it real simple. Who do you think they think is the servant? Um, yeah. Who's the big Christian guy? Jesus? Yeah. Okay. They're like, no, everybody's wait, Jesus. Wait, wait, wait. How did they get Jesus out of Isaiah? Isaiah, is, this is like hundreds Prophecy. of years. Prophecy. Oh, for fuck's sake. Christians traditionally see the servant as Jesus motherfucking Christ. The songs are quoted and applied to Jesus multiple times in the New Testament. Ah, So there is a lot in Isaiah, which I've said multiple times now, that are quoted in the New Testament. Sure. And I, I mean, more than that, as we read through Isaiah, it just feels very New Testament ish. So some parts. Yes. Well, yeah, some parts. Yes. So, you know, it's a thing. Okay. Okay. All right. So we've got all these, who is it? What is it? What's, what's the servant? Okay. Right. Let's go back to, wait, who's Cyrus again? Yeah. Who may or may not be the servant. I right. Don't, I don't think he's the servant. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. Cyrus. Recall Cyrus the second of Persia, commonly known as Cyrus oh, the Great. Yeah. He was, yeah. He was okay. cool. Yeah. He was a cool guy. Right. And to the Greeks, he was known as Cyrus the Elder. He became well known among scholars at the time for having respected the customs and religious traditions of the lands that he conquered. I do recall that. Yes. And following the conquest of Babylon, he issued the Edict of Restoration in which he authorized and encouraged the return of the Jewish people to the former kingdom of Judah, officially ending the Babylonian captivity. Got it. Do you remember all of that? I do. I do. Okay. Okay. Now, he is described in the Bible, obviously, because we read about him. Yep. And he left a lasting legacy on Judaism due to his role in facilitating the return to Zion of the Jews. Okay. Mm -hmm. And in chapter 45, so it's the fourth song, which we're not at yet. Right. You know, we're only about to read the first one. Yeah. Right. Okay. So in chapter 45, which is the fourth song which we're not at yet we're just about to read the first one okay cyrus is gonna be when we get there anointed by the god of israel 
for his task or for that task as a biblical Messiah. Cyrus is? Yeah. Okay. When we get there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And Cyrus is the only non-Jewish figure to be revered in this capacity. So again, this is very interesting that mm -hmm. Isaiah is prophesizing somebody's name that's hundreds of years later. Mm-hmm. The, and, but, and what's happened, like, <clears throat> it's bullshit. But, well, they, yeah, you know. <laughs> because they, they already said, no, but somebody wrote it right, during. No, I, I get that. But they stuck it in Isaiah saying, mm -hmm. this is this is implying mm -hmm. that Isaiah wrote this. Yeah. When it, that's not what happened. Correct. So it's just, it's bullshit. Yeah. It, I would like to be at the table where the gentleman in charge passed around various documents and said, prum, 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 let's stick this here. Right, you right. You know, and then stapled it all together and said, and Bible. Right, right. So the first poem, okay, now I'm getting away from all the history of that. And yeah. Now we're talking about the first poem. Okay. Okay, which is chapter 42. Okay. Okay. The first poem has God speaking of his selection of the servant who will bring justice to earth. So you could see why the Christians are like, Jesus. Okay. Right. Yeah, right. They're like, nope, Jesus. <laughs> Here the servant is described as God's agent of justice, a king who brings justice in both royal and prophetic roles, yet justice is established neither by proclamation nor by force. Okay. He does not ecstatically announce salvation at in the marketplace as prophets were bound to do. Right. But instead moves quietly and confidently to establish right religion. Okay. okay. So that's what we're about to read. Got it. Okay. So that's the whole background for what we're about to start. That right there kind of um, excludes Cyrus, though. Yeah. That he did proclamations. He did, you know. But not in the marketplace. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Not in the marketplace. Okay. Though. Okay. I'm just putting it out there. Sure. So, okay. Ready? Chapter 42. Yeah. Here is my servant. Whom I uphold, my chosen one in whom I delight. I will put my spirit on him and he will bring justice to the nations. That's nice. Okay. Yep. It's a thing. It's mm -hmm. happening. Here we go. Okay. He will not shout or cry out or raise his voice in the streets. Okay. A bruised reed he will not break and a smoldering wick he will not snuff out. In faithfulness he will bring forth justice. He will not falter. Or be discouraged till he establishes justice on earth. In his teaching, the islands will put their hope. Oh, those, those islands, islands are again. listening again. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is what God the Lord says. See, this is so like um, New Testament-y. Right. Like God the Lord kind of stuff. Right. Just, I don't ugh. It's not how we normally phrase these things. Sure. I mean, this, the, the, that kind of stuff has evolved over yeah, I know. the different books. I mean, like, each different book kind of has its own Flavor tone, of God. So. Yeah. This is what God the Lord says. The creator of the heavens who stretches them out, who spreads out the earth with all that springs from it, who gives breath to its people and life to those who walk on it. I, the Lord, have called you in righteousness. I will take hold of your hand. I will keep you and will make you to be a covenant for the people and a light for the Gentiles to open eyes that are blind, to free captives from prison and to release from the dungeon those who sit in darkness. That's interesting because he's referring to this person is going, the person is mm -hmm. going to be a covenant for the people, mm -hmm. which is very Jesus. -y. Yeah. No, I mean, and, and I'm not. Yeah. I'm just saying that that's. That's very, I, I see why it could be construed that way if you're mm -hmm. seeing this through the Jesus lens. Yes, you know? yes, So very much, yeah. I am the Lord, that is my name. I will not yield my glory to another or my praise to idols. See, the former things have taken place and new things I declare. Before they spring into being, I announce them to you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sing. Wait, he announced them before they spring it. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Sing to the Lord a new song. La, la, la. His praise from the ends of the earth. You who go down to the sea and all that is in it. You islands and all you who <laughs> live in them. I, I got to know about these islands. Well, they've been like there was people. 
they've referred to islands and seafaring people and like there's this group of people that, and maybe it may not be the same people so I don't want to I don't want to confuse things here but there's people that live elsewhere mm-hmm. that are traders in the area that they mm-hmm. keep re- that have popped up a few times in the bible right. and i'm wondering if it refers to them it does i don't feel like it does though it feels like a different use of the word okay you know well i mean i i don't know i'm just but it is yeah that's definitely something we're gonna have to look up mm-hmm. let the wilderness and its towns raise their voices let the settlements where kadar lives rejoice let the people of salah Sing for joy. Salah. Salah. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let them shout from the mountaintops. Let them give glory to the landlord. Ah, I lost my place. The landlord. Yeah. The land. Oh, wait. Not the landlord. Just the (laughs) Lord. Sorry, my thumb hit one of the verse things and then it went to a wrong page. Got it. Sorry. Okay. Let me read that sentence again. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Not the landlord. No, yeah. No, never give glory to a landlord. <laughs> Let them give glory to the Lord and proclaim his praise in the islands. Okay. See, there's no space here between the word Lord and. So my dumb brain transposed everything and turned uh, Lord and into landlord. I was landlord. wondering how we got landlord there. Yeah. That's exactly how. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. So let them give glory to the Lord. Right. Okay. But... E- Again, I'm gonna I'm the gonna say islands. this one more time. The islands, it does feel like that group to me, it feels like that group, that otherly group of people. Like this is you you know how they've been kind of expanding their territory. Yeah. Right? Well, this feels like they're trying to reach out to these islanders and be like, come be come, godly, come come into our fold. Stop you know? being evil idol worshippers. Right. Don't yeah. be a pagan heathen guy. Yeah. Get over here. I'm just saying that's what it feels like to me. Get down with the Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Or the Isaiah. Or, or whatever. whoever. Yeah. You know, whatever. Yeah. We're not in the New Testament. So. I, oh, that's true. Yeah. Sorry. Not the Jesus yet. No, you're right. I apologize. I don't know why I said that. Because you're you're on a, you, you brought up Jesus. I, I can't get his name out my mouth. Jesus Christ. Ugh. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord will march out like a champion. Oh, he's going to march out, huh? He's going to march okay. with his, you know, chest out. Yeah. Like a warrior, he will stir up his zeal. I'm going to stir up me some zeal <laughs> with a shout. Rah! He will raise the battle cry and will triumph over his enemies. Okay. Bah, 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 bah. For a long time, I've kept silent. I've been quiet and held myself back. Wait, who did? God? Uh, oh, yeah. I call bullshit. I think I'm speaking for God now. That's bullshit. But he now. Ca- he's, he's been nothing. He's been yelling about all kinds of shit. But not uh, through people. Oh, okay. Like. Okay. This is. I He's going to talk directly to people now? I, I guess that's what Isaiah is speaking for him, you know? Yeah. Are we sure? They haven't mentioned Isaiah once. Well, it's all in quote marks and it's in the book of Isaiah and we're okay. supposed to believe right, that yeah. this is Isaiah presenting this, but obviously no because it was put in later. Right. So right. we're supposed to pretend it's Isaiah. Okay. So anyway, speaking as God. Yep. For a long time, I kept silent. I've been quiet and held myself back. But now, like a woman in childbirth, I cry out. <laughs> I gasp and pant. Like, that's the worst that they can think is, oh, God, a baby getting out that hoo-ha. They, they really love to compare pain to childbirth in, yeah, in the Bible. That's the worst pain that you could ever have. If, if you, yeah. I sure. mean, it is very painful. Right. But I'm just saying it's it's funny that men are mm-hmm. using that as their, right. you know, gauge for pain. Right. Because they have no fucking clue. Right. So. That seems odd, right? Right, yeah. Like, since when did... Parts of your body stretch out of shape and squeeze things out of it. (laughs) One would hope uh, never, but, you know. I just, I I don't understand, like, how can that be a touch point for you? Yeah, I don't know. know. Right. Like, what what is that on your scale of pain? I suppose I could just gauge the amount of screaming that happens versus anything else that happens in life. Like, all of a sudden, a woman's opinion counts? you know yeah well Well, i mean it's probably putting the men out you know they gotta hear it they're like god damn but at the same time they're like i could totally take that (laughs) i could handle that like which one is it is it a lot or isn't it yeah you don't know do you right yeah i will lay waste the mountains and hills the ones i was just weighing yeah why are you gonna lay them waste always laying waste those mountains but he just weighed them he did and dry up all their vegetation you literally just put springs out. Right. And now you're going to dry them up. Yeah. 
God. I will turn rivers into islands and dry up the pools. Wait. So last week. You're going to turn rivers into islands? Like, soak up the water so that, you know. Oh, okay. Whatever water is left. There's going to be land instead of. uh, Yeah. Okay. But. Last week we got out the hose and filled up all the pools. Now we're taking and them back. Yeah, now we're like we put cement in the pools. You can't swim. Sorry. <laughs> I mean that's the way things go in this book. It really One is. Week you have good graces. Next week you're you know cursed to hell. Yeah. Cool. I will lead the blind by ways they have not known. Mm. Along unfamiliar paths, I will guide them. I mean, if they're blind, they're they probably, probably yeah. already unfamiliar with. Most of the paths. I mean, yeah. I'm sure they have some that they know by heart. Right. But, you know. but I mean, to say, like, to say, I'm going to lead you along unfamiliar paths, like, the second that I step sideways, I would think. I mean. I also don't think he's literally talking about blind people. Okay, that's fair. It's the faithfully blind. That you know, is, the, you're right. So. Uh, spiritually blind. Spiritually blind. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, yeah. I will turn the darkness into light before them and make the rough places smooth. Hmm. That's that nice. nice. Yeah. These are the things I will do. I will not forsake them, but those who trust in idols, who say to images, you are our gods, will be turned back in utter shame. Well, that's, yeah, you, you've said that before. Mm-hmm. I'm not surprised. I'm not done yelling. Ready? Right. Well, wait, wait, wait. How many times I'm just? How many times have we destroyed all the idols? All the times. Well, I'm but We're always destroying them why forever. Do they, why do we stop? Shouldn't? Wouldn't you think one of these times when we destroyed them all, when he destroyed them all, when God destroyed them all, whatever? Mm-hmm. Wouldn't we never have to talk about them again after that? They're always coming back. Oh, okay. They're always around because because people just keep because recreating gods them? keep godding and people keep. I mean, either these gods are really resilient, mm-hmm. or people don't really give a fuck about what God's saying. That's what I think. So, okay, ready? Yeah, I'm still God, and I'm yelling. Okay. okay. Yep. Here, you deaf. Look, you blind and see. Mm, okay. Who is blind but my servant, and deaf like the messenger I send? Who is blind like the one in covenant with me? Blind like the servant of the Lord. Fuckers, <laughs> you. Have- <laughs> I couldn't do it with a straight face. Yeah, right. right. You have seen many things, but you pay no damn attention. Mm -hmm. Your ears are open, but you don't fucking listen. Okay, that's the end quote. All right, yeah. It pleased the Lord for the sake of his righteousness to make his law great and glorious. But this is a people plundered and looted. All of them trapped in pits or hidden away in prisons. Okay. They have become plunder. With no one to rescue them, they have been made loot. With no one to say, send them back. Which of you will listen to this or pay close attention in time to come? Who handed Jacob over to become loot and Israel to the plunderers? Ooh, God. Yeah, it was. It was God. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, he said so. He was very happy about it. Right? Yeah. Was it not the Lord? Oh, He's admitting it. Against whom we have sinned? Oh, oh. Well, we brought on our damn selves. I I guess it it was our own fault. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. You had it coming. (laughs) For they would not follow his ways, and they did not obey his law. Blah, blah. Womp, womp. Right. So he poured out on them his burning anger. You know, the way he do. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. The violence of war. Because, you know. Because there's always war with God. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, You got to. Beat your kid to teach them good. You you can even use people that aren't godly yeah. to do it. You yeah. know, you just be like, hey, I need you to go kill my people. Yeah. And then they do that. And then you kill the other guy that right. you just yeah. had kill your totally, people. You're like, totally and makes sense. kill you too. Right. I could totally kill all of you myself. But I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Right. I could also make both of you behave. But I'm not going to do that either. You would think that kind of a, a display would make a lot more of a lasting impression Mm-hmm. You know, if, if God did it himself, you yeah. know, as opposed to p- calling an, a foreign army in. Right. You know? Like zip zap. Right. You know, that like he did it to them. Right. According to Isaiah, mm-hmm. he killed those 185,000 people. Like if he just like pointed and was like, smoke, 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 rebuke, smoke, smoke, rebuke. Right. I think you know? that would be a much more it, it would have a much greater effect. I you know? think so as well. <laughs> 
It enveloped them in flames, yet they did not understand. It consumed them, but they did not take it to heart. The end. Mm, okay. I mean, we're just kind of rehashing what God does. and God's a dick. And then there's this guy that's going to do stuff and he's things. He's a servant. He's a servant of God. Poor he's just, servant. He's going to walk upright down that straight and flattened path that God made through the hills where he's going to put water again after he made them islands. Yeah. Is that about it? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't really know what else to say about this guy. No, I don't either. Servant's gonna servant? Yeah. I don't, I don't know. So that was Isaiah chapter 42. Two. Sure as fuck was. And that means we will be back tomorrow with... Isaiah chapter 43. All right, we'll see you then. Bye. Hey, wife, I guess that's the end. But husband, that's just sad. It doesn't have to be. We are on lots of social media platforms like Twitter. Our handle there is sacrilegious underscore D. For D's nuts. Oh my God. Stop doing that. Anyway, we're also on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. There's a link to all of our social media sites at our website. Ooh, we have a website? Yeah, it's sacrilegiousdiscourse.com, where you can also find a link to our merch shop. We have a merch shop? Yep. We have podcast-themed clothing, mugs, notebooks, and more, as well as an atheist and science-themed products. Wow, our fans should really go check that out right now. Definitely. They can get in touch with us by sending an email to sacrilegiousdiscourse at gmail.com. But before they do that, we could really use some help. Oh, yeah? With what? Well, it's not free running the podcast, and we need some financial support in order to get better equipment, which will free up time so we can concentrate on our podcast and our fans. Okay, so what should they do? Head over to patreon.com forward slash sacrilegious discourse and sign up as a contributor on our podcast. Supporters there receive additional bi-weekly episodes that we record just for our Patreon members for as little as $2 a month. Also, we'd really appreciate it if you would like and subscribe on whatever platform you're using. And Apple Podcast Reviews help us out tremendously. Like and subscribe. Leave an Apple review. Join us on Twitter. Support us on Patreon. That's a lot of instructions. Don't forget to say thanks. Thanks. Okay, bye.